Okay. I have a die. Um, uh, do you want odd or even? Uh, let's go with evens. Even. It is odd. I will take the play. All right. Yeah, it's pretty sweet that uh, Jared set this uh, mini tournament up. Yeah, I really like the style that's just kind of like a fire on demand thing, and that it just kind of fills the time in between like a tournament. Um, yeah, I think it, it yeah, works I... out really well. And I, I'm, I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna do a bunch of these because it, it's kind of like it's kind of like pickup games almost in a sense, but it, it just feels a little bit more organized. And so yeah, it, it actually feels like more of a tournament than yeah. just like the pods and stuff. Sure. I am going to see this. Anyway. Whenever you got a bracket, it's uh Yeah. Uh, my mind goes to a, a tournament. And I'll go ahead and cut. And so. Oh. No bueno. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't keep this one. All right. Begin. Fight. <laughs> Four, five, six, and seven. Come on, land. All right, we have land. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready to go? Yep. See, I didn't keep any lands. I'm going to cast land grant by revealing my hand. Oh, you are. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, you got uh, Giant Gross, Fiendhorn Elf. Yeah, Fiendhorn Elf, Kieran Ranger, Ranger, Elvish Lyrist, Ebola, Druid Lyrist, Giant Growth, and River Boa. So I'm going to go get a forest, All and, right. and I'm going to cast the Fiendhorn Elves. All and right. Looks I'll, like we have uh, green on green action here. Let's, all right. Uh, I'm done after that. Although your uh, forest is cooler than mine. <laughs> Still full art, but not yeah. uh, not quite as cool as them. And I'll match your fiend or no with a fiend or no. All right. And I will end my turn. Okay. I will play a Kieran Ranger. Yes, you're rangering. Um. I'm going to tap this for green, return a forest to untap yep. Fintarn Elves, play the forest. Yeah. So I, have a, I have a green floating right now. I'm going to play River Boa, and I'll play the Druid Lyrist. So I have Elvish Lyrist and a Giant Growth and then an Unknown in my hand. And you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, that was a good second turn. Oh, yes. <laughs> Elk? Okay. Play a cradle. Okay. Tap for two. Uh, Fenor and Elf and uh, Birchlow Ranger. Okay. And yeah, I think I'm done. Okay. I will untap and draw. Okay. 
Tepper green, Tepper green. I'll return this forest to untap this elf. Uh, play this. So now I have three mana. I am going to put. An elephant guide on Druid Lyrist. So it's now a 4-4. Four, four. Yep. I will... How many cards in your hand? Uh, two. Two. I'm going to attack with Riverboa and Druid Lyrist. Oh, uh, yes you are. Um, I will take it to the face. Okay, you um, take so six? Five? This is six. two and this one's four. Oh yeah, six. Any shenanigans uh, on top of that? Uh, nope. Uh, just the six. So you go to 14. 14. Ouch. I will then... Cast an Elvish Lyrist. And you can go okay. ahead. That's pretty scary. Attack for five. Okay. Uh, cast overrun. Okay. Uh, and swing for sixteen trample. Sixteen. Um. Yeah, four eight. So four, they're all four fours. 16. They are. Yeah, trample gives it plus three, plus three, and trample, yeah. and they're all just a bunch of one ones. So. Okay. Um. Let me do some math. Um, I am going to return a forest to untap my um, Untap my Druid Lyrist. Okay. I am going to... Block your Birchlore Rangers. Okay, so a little trade since they're four fours? Yep, and then I'm going to take 12. Okay. Down to eight. And then this triggers, I'll get an Elephant. Yeah. And the elephant is it anything special or just a three three plain elephant or does three, it have trample? Three three or? green. Nope, doesn't have doesn't have trample. Okay. Um Yeah. No oh, bueno. Uh go ahead, your turn. Okay. I'll draw a forest. Oh. I am going to attack. Uh, so one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yep. I will uh, giant growth my river boa. So it's currently eleven. And then I'm going to yep. exile a rogue elephant to cast Bounty of the Hunt. Oh, uh, you got me. Okay. <laughs> so I'll give my guy... In response, uh, I'll fog. Uh, that's not, I like, I like, this would be crazy if you had fog, but... <laughs> no, just a, a lonely priest of titania in my hand. Uh, but I had that over, I'm like, I... I don't think I'll survive another turn to, to cast the priest and then do the overrun. Sure. So looks like I was right. That was <laughs> my last, <laughs> last turn. 
All right. What can I? What can I? What can I got against elves? That might be good. And let's go that. You will sell. put that match up there. Yeah, my sideboard is not very good against you. <laughs> There's like a card that's I've like got a couple things that will be helpful, I think. Yeah, I will. The last the last match I played too, I didn't board in any cards. I'm like, ah, I feel like feel like I should be doing something. It's like, because there were also cards yeah, that were you, were not you, particularly like, great. What was that like? Third turn? Uh, I mean, it had to. Was it? It, it was probably. What was that turn four? four? Probably turn four. Yeah, cause I think I only had I only had three turns. Okay. So, wait. Yeah, because I swung with, uh, let's say, first turn, Bean Horn Elf. Second turn, cast a bunch of other elves. Third turn, overrun. Fourth turn, never had because you killed me. Yeah, I attacked for six, <laughs> down to 14, then I attacked for 14. Yeah, I attacked for 14. So, yeah, I only attacked twice. So. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it to game three. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So how's the YouTube channel going? Uh, it's going pretty good. I have actually quite a few videos that I have like saved up that I just need to upload, but I'm kind of just okay. spacing them out like every day or every other day um, instead of just uploading them all at once because I assume that they won't. Yeah. People won't watch as many, but um, it's do going you do, right. Do uh, you commentaries as well? Like I've, the like only times I did commentary is when I had the audio I didn't like. Um, it's. Mm -hmm. I don't mind doing it. It's just it's a lot more work than just recording a match and and uploading it. But um, oh, for sure, yeah. And I mean, the times I did do the commentary, I didn't get like an overwhelming majority of people who be like, "Yeah, this is way more entertaining to watch than just the natural gameplay." And I have had some people say like, "Yeah, I like the gameplay just fine. Like, I actually prefer it to the, the commentary." So, I'm. I mean, one of my favorite YouTubers is uh, Timmy Talks. Okay, he does yep, old school commentary. Yeah, and I'm like, I really enjoy those commentaries. I like how he yeah. like does like play by play and gets into it and stuff. Yeah, so, it's kind of fun. But yeah, yeah, just any any old school or pre modern matches are always fun to watch. So yeah. All right, I will draw my personal side. taste. I like commentaries. Yeah, I like play. -by -play. The one thing that... All it, right, like, well, I'm going to take the play. I'm not going yeah. <laughs> yeah, to let you go first. Sounds good. Uh, hopefully I don't have to mulligan this time. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, you too. No, I'm gonna have to have to log in this one too. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I, I do like the Timmy talks. Um, yeah, especially because he kind of speeds it up, so there's not really that much dead time. He does a pretty good. Yeah, job. He, he he yeah fast uh, yeah speeds up the, so. the playing. Yeah, the one thing that I do, I guess, is because when I record. I have the hand camera on my hand, so at least if there is no commentary, you at least can kind of like follow along and play along, like from my perspective of what would you do from this position. Oh, nice! So, you can so, so you can actually see your hand the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I have a my phone is mounted and recording, mm -hmm. and so when I record the match, I have 
what I'm seeing from whereby, and then I also have my hand camera from my phone. Yeah, that's that's very helpful. So, yeah. All right. Um, down below, and I'm good. All right. All right. Play a forest and uh, rangers. Okay. And and my turn. Okay. I'll play a forest and a uh, matenta lion. And you can go ahead. Mm. Eldamari, Lord of the Leaves. That gives all elves or just your elves, Shroud? All, all elves gain forest walk. Oh, just forest walk? Okay. Yep. It's not a pumper, just a forest walker. And they can't be the target of spells or abilities. Okay, so they, oh, they do a show. Okay. Swing in for one. Okay, I go to 19. Yep, uh, go ahead. And that guy's a 2-2 two -two or 2-1 or what? He's a 2-2. Two -two. A 2-2. Two -two. Play I don't know if they got a ready where it says all other elves get in game forest walk. I should double check that. Yeah, you can double check, but I, I think I think the older cards are all elves, but um, I'll put a rancor on my Matenda Lion. And I'm you going would, to I'm going to attack for four. Um, I will take it down to 14. Six, 16. Well, 16, yep. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, the card text, other elf creatures have forest block. Okay. And other elves and have shroud. other elves have shroud. Okay. So, yeah, that, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't... Uh, I don't want to attack with my Eldamari and, like, oh, wait, block, wait, no. <laughs> uh, draw. Well, Tommy, uh, Acolyte? Yep. Draw a card. Uh, swing for three. Three. All right. I will go to 16. And end my turn. I'm going to attack with my lion. I'll block with my acolyte. Okay, I'm going to respond. I'm going to cast Bounty of the Hunt by exiling... Um, I'm going to exile... an elephant guide to give Matenda Lion plus three plus three. Sure. All right, so my guy is 
for a four one, and then I guess plus three plus three, so seven four. So you take six. Six. Okay. Um, down to ten. All right, and I will play another lion. Okay. Go, go ahead. So oh, my acolyte is it's dead. Beyond dead. <laughs> Elvish champion. Okay. Swing for five. For five. Okay, I go to eleven. And in turn. Okay. How many cards in hand? Four. Before I draw, I have four. Now I have five. I'm going to attack with my guys. Okay, I'll take it and hopefully not die. Uh, so so four, five, six. So it's for six. Mm hmm. Yep, you take six down to four. And okay. I will play a Sky Shroud Elite. Is that the fading guy? Uh, no, it's a one mana, one one. Oh, elf. wait, that's the non basic land guy, right? Yep, yeah. So. Okay, so right now he's just a one one. Oh, he's a two two. He's an elf. Sky Shroud Elite. Oh, gotcha. Yes, he is an elf. Uh, go this ahead. That's true. Fiend Horno. Okay. Cast another Elvish Champion. Okay. Creatures. Ah. You had to be at eleven life. <laughs> I can only get him for ten. I think ten. Yeah. But I'll poke you a little bit here. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna swing in with one for four. Um, for four. Okay. Okay. I go from seven. Eleven to seven. Yep. And hopefully I don't die. <laughs> go <Okay>. ahead. <laughs> and you have how many cards now in hand? Uh five after I draw. gonna attack. Yeah, you would. Okay. <laughs> you have one mana open. Mm -hmm. Your uh, your one ranger is a uh, four four. It's yeah, a no, three the, three. 
You don't have any non basics, three, right? Three. Yeah, three three. Okay. Yeah, Your three. Lion is a. This is a two one, and this one's a four two trampler. Yeah. So one champion. Is going to block your three three. Uh, this has forest walk. Oh, you are correct. Ooh, snap! That could be bad. Uh, okay, so I can't block it. I'll block uh, with the ranger. I'll block one lion, and with one champion. Actually, with both. One yeah, ranger will block a lion, and uh, a champion and an elf will block your other lion. So the two double blocks on the rancor one. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will. Pass turn. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you have a four four champion and a three three finhorn elf. Is that right? Yeah, so seven. Alright, well I will... Um, four, four... Well, that's nice. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't target your elf with spell abilities either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, that's, that's nice. I think that saved me. Or at least made you think. Yeah. Um, so if I deal... I think I need to do this. I'm gonna giant growth this the Rancord Matenda line. Okay. So it becomes a seven four. Okay. okay. So we go to damage. You're gonna take three here. Your virtual ranger is gonna take yep, two. So down. And this guy's gonna down die. To one. And then I'll kill. I'll do a four and then three to your. I'll order the champion first. So you don't take any damage from this. But both your guys die. And then after the champion dies, since that ranger has two damage on it, it also dies. Right, yeah. So, they trade, correct? Yep. And this this ranger comes back to my hand. Oh, the ranger also died? Yeah, because it, it took two from the other because line. The ordering and then it became, it became a... It was a 3-3 three, three, and it became a 2-2 two, two after the other champion died. Okay. So you go to one... I do. Yep. And I am done. Play a forest. Mm -hmm. Five forest. Uh, the cast overrun. All right, you got it. <laughs> Holy macaroni, Batman. That was close. <laughs> I had to top deck the forest, otherwise you would have won. That, yeah, that was a cool game. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> like, how am I going to... Uh, Rancor scary. All it takes is one or two giant crows for a bounty of the hunt. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it don't need force to play. That's that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't have very many of those anyway, so... <laughs> Are you doing strictly the 10 land, or...? Yeah, I have 10 land and the 4, the four land grant, so... Yeah. I feel like it needs like another mana source or two, but. Well, you got four elves, don't you? Are you running? Stop yeah, the Kinorn elves. Are... Yeah, I have four. Yeah, those, and I don't have any land or else. But I have the Kieran range, four Kieran Rangers. So. Are you doing the Spirit Guides? I don't have any of those, and it was one of the like the last cards I was gonna cut. Um, sure. I cut a Rogue Elephant. So I'm only playing three of yeah, those. Yeah, road elephants are nice, but they're also very dangerous. Well, I mean, there's... If you have two forests, then it's like I'm fine sacrificing one usually most of the time. But, like, if it's my yeah, only forest, then it's like my fury rangers yeah, don't do anything, and then, like, it's so much harder. So There's nothing worse than uh, you do your rogue elephant with your only forest, and somebody swords it or bolts yeah. it, and you're like, yeah. oh, man. 
<laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> Usually wants to be like one of the last cards I play, so I think. Yeah, makes sense. I'll go a, a first turn uh, um, rogue elephant, second turn rank around it, swinging sure. for five. That's always nice. Yeah. I guess, it depends against certain decks, it's good. Certain decks, you probably he's, don't want to do that. Yeah, he's definitely a house. All right, I'll take the play. Are you positive with that decision? Because I would like to play first. Yeah, I think I want to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Four, five, six, and seven. Hopefully, I don't have to mulligan this time. I'll keep. Shoot. You would think I'd be the one running only 10 fours. <laughs> A lot of times with uh, no land hands, you're like, wow, my hand looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. But kind of need mana. Well, at least we get to go to game three. That's always. Yeah. Always. Forest and a Findhorn Elves. Go ahead. Forest and go. Forest. Uh, Kieran Ranger. I will. Yep, two. I'm gonna re turn. Uh. Um. I return a forest to untap this. So we have two mana floating. I will um, tip a third mana. I'm going to play Elephant Guide on the Ranger. Wow. And you can go ahead. Uh, Priest of Titania. Okay. And um, I'll end my turn. Okay. I will draw. I'll play Forest. I am going to. Swing for 20. I'm going to play a Rancor on this Kieran Ranger. Oh my goodness, stop it. <laughs> I am going to play a Winter Orb. Oh, all right. I'm going to return a forest to untap this elf. And I'm going to okay. attack. So this guy is a 6-4 trample. This is just a 1-1. One, one. So I'm taking 7? Yes. If I take it all? Yep. I'm the 13. All right. Uh, go ahead. Well, I can untap one land, right? Yep. Play a card. 
Gaia's Cradle. The winter orb actually actually sucks. Acolyte, Jack card. Yep, the um, Titania taps for three because it's all it's both sides. Oh, you have. Uh, I have two elves. Nice. So I have. Uh... You have two green mana floating. Core will block your block your uh, Ranger. Ranger. Um, okay, that's your only block. Uh, and Multani will block your elf. Okay, I am going to cast Bounty the Hunt, exiling Findhorn Elves to give the Kieran Ranger plus three plus three until end of turn. Okay. Uh, so it's four, seven, nine, nine power, and seven toughness. So you're going to take uh, five from this. Five? Yep. So you're yeah, going to go to five. eight, and then these trade. And you can go ahead. this for for two two for the turn. Okay. Four. Okay. Play another master four. All right. And uh, go ahead. Okay. I'll untap this guy. I'll draw. I will... Attack with the six foot trampler. I got a block with Master Core. Okay. You're going to take two from eight down to six. This guy will yep. die. Rain Core comes back to my hand, and I get an elephant. Okay. I will play Rain Core on the elephant. And you can go ahead. Yes. 
next day. Personally? Yeah. And I, th I think that's all I can do. Okay. Um, go ahead. All right, I'll untap this. I'll draw a card. I will play a forest. This elephant will be guided by another elephant. <laughs> and I will attack for, it's a 8-6 trampoline. Um, yeah, you got me. All right. <laughs> wow. That's a big elephant. Yeah. Yeah, the, the winter orb is like, I'm like, this card doesn't, definitely seems like it could just not do anything against you, but it was lucky that that game that it actually did a it lot. It did. I drew a lot of, uh, in my hand, I just ended up drawing a, like, a lot of my bigger stuff. I sideboarded in a couple of coat of arms against you. Okay. And... <laughs> Um, so I, <laughs> I had one of those in my hand, and then I had two Collective Unconsciousness, which cost six. Okay. Um, and it just prevented me from, like, regenerating Master Core and just doing crazy stuff with him. And... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just worried that, like, if you, like, play a Priest of Titania or have, like, a Gaius Cradle, then, like, the Winter Orb is not very good because you just are making almost the same amount of mana. Or if you just have... Yeah, I had both of those. I had Priest of Titania and a Cradle, That's but true. I yeah, had to keep... Yeah. At least I... I... I thought to myself, I had I had to keep blocking. For, yeah. Uh, well, like the first game, you went like mana elf, guard. mana elf, and then like winter orbs, pretty bad against those. So. So yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I I just don't have anything in my sideboard that's better. All the cards in my sideboard are like naturalizes, and I guess I didn't know about the master core, so I guess naturalize would have done something. Yeah. But I actually, main deck uh, four tingle wires, uh, which you oh, never okay. saw. It would yeah. be helpful. Yeah. Cool. Great games. All right. Good luck. Yeah, you too. All right. Thanks. Bye.